But this is a progression. So if before I get, if Matt gets his double underhooks, and before I get to this whizzer, I'm going to start trying to position a whizzer, he puts his Kimura frame in. Yeah, now I've got a root. See, it? See where my whizzer is? That's not much of a whizzer. I've just got a lot of pressure on my shoulder. So what usually is going to happen is they'll start holding their, your head and they're going to try and bullshit their way out somehow by ripping your head. Now, all that actually needs to happen is Matt just going to continue what he was doing, but he's going to turtle himself up. So he's going to bring his shoulders up. Yeah, and now he pops the head out. So some of you were sort of still getting a bit stuck, even though his arm was a bit like here. Your head was getting like stuck and you were creating a lot of separation, right? If, if I don't start headlocking him, he just stays as tight as he likes to me. Yeah, cool, circle around, don't let me out. Yeah, he's never gonna let go. It doesn't become like, oh, I get here and then I do a big fucking step and because I've just lost everything, right? Any space here, he's gonna be, you know, it's a fight. He's gonna be trying to get out of there. So he's either out or he's headlocking, right? And so if he headlocks, when I'm here, it's this, you're gonna turtle up. And you stay tight. So, as we're moving through this, I've got my frame. I get this as high as I possibly can, looking at my watch, try and wizard. Yeah, he's gonna go to my head now, he's gonna head on. Yeah. So I've just, I turtle up, and I am pillow. Now I'm on his back. Yeah? Let's give it a go. 